Hey reader friends, this week in the library we're going to be doing some research. To start out we're going to be using a series of books called Your Amazing Body and the title of this one is Skin. Let's jump in and see what we can learn. First chapter is called Many Jobs. What is the body's biggest organ? All right, organs inside our body are not the kind that play music. Organs are like our brain, our heart, our lungs, the pieces of our body that do all the jobs that keep us going. And the answer is the skin. The skin is our largest organ. Some people have dark skin. Some people have light skin. Others have a bit of both. Skin has many jobs. It holds body parts in. It keeps dirt and germs out. It keeps your body at the right temperature. And most people's body temperature is around 98.6, some a little lower. It is hot. Dinesh sweats. It cools him down. Joe shivers. Brrr, she is cold. Hairs on her skin stand up. Look, they make goosebumps. The goosebumps keep her warm. Skin gives you a sense of touch. It works with your brain and nerves. Is it hard or soft? Is it hot or cold? Your skin lets you know. Skin is amazing. Parts of the skin. Skin has three layers. You see only the top layer, but lots goes on underneath the surface. So the part that we see is on the top, might be different colors depending on your family background, and you probably see little hairs growing out of the top layer. This is called the epidermis, the top layer where new skin cells are made. And then there's a middle layer. This is kind of like a sandwich, bread, filling, bread, but it's skin. This middle layer is the dermis. It's kind of a stretchy layer. Inside the middle layer, you have sebaceous glands that look like this. That's the place where your skin oil is made to keep you healthy. And also sweat glands right there, the place where the sweat is made and then it is released to your skin when your body senses that it's too hot and needs to be cooled off. The bottom layer down here is the subcutaneous layer. The third layer is made up mostly of fat, which keeps you warm and cushions you when you bump into things. Inside your skin, you'll also find blood vessels, which are little tubes that carry food and oxygen to all your skin cells. And this part that I didn't tell you about, that's your hair follicle. And that's where the hair grows up out of your um, follicle into your skin layer. Scientists are able to tell what the skin looks like underneath because they use a microscope to study our skin cells under that top layer, which if you'll remember was called epidermis. I remember one time my sister teased me. She came home from school and she said, oh, your epidermis is showing. And I began to look to see if maybe I had a button or a zipper undone. And she started laughing and she said, Julie, your epidermis is your top layer of skin. Of course it's showing. And I realized she was just tricking me, but it makes a good joke, doesn't it? Sometime today, you'll have to tell someone, oh, your epidermis is showing and then tell them that just means the top layer of skin. All right, guys, have a great day. Go to your next part of the lesson.